Okay, Father, I bet you don't know this well, one. I'm telling you, he knows them all. <laughs> Priest and the Baptist minister. Priest takes a drink. The minister says, Father, I'd rather commit the sin of adultery than take a drink of hard liquor. The priest puts the drink back and he says, I didn't know we had a choice. <laughs> <laughs> See, he knows them all. <laughs> all right, all right, here you go. Guy goes to confess. He's been with a loose woman. The priest wants to know who. Brenda O'Malley, Fanola McDonald, Ann Brown. I got uh, five Our Fathers, four Hail Marys, and three good leads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more, one more. Pope's in the States, right? He's riding in his limo. And he turns to his driver, who's a seminarian, and he says, Can I drive? They never let me drive. <laughs> what can the kids say? He lets the Pope drive. <laughs> no, the Pope is a lousy driver. He's a great guy, but a horrible <laughs> driver. A cop pulls him over, and the Pope says, Officer, how fast was I going? The cop freaks out. He calls a sergeant. He says, Listen, you said a guy's speeding. I'm supposed to give him a ticket no matter who he is, right? Right. And the sergeant says, Ooh, you got something big? Who? The mayor? Bigger. Uh, the governor? Bigger. Uh, the president? <laughs> Bigger. The sergeant says, what? Who's bigger than that? I don't know, but he's got the Pope for a driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, this all looks delicious, Father. Now, who's hosting next week? Ray. 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 Oh, and your idea of a spread, as I remember, is a four-year-old Ritz cracker and some cheese made from a can. <laughs> oh, Ray, I'll help you. <laughs> Thank you. Gentlemen. They're the last six celibate heterosexual priests in the Western world. Yeah. Sort of like, like God with a smoker's cough? What's that sound? Hey, isn't this your day off? Yeah, things to do. This building's falling apart, you know. This building's always falling apart. You need a day off. Gotta take care of it later. Have you heard from Leo yet? No, not yet. Maybe today. Yeah. Morning, Ray. Morning. See, there, there it is again. I'm telling you, it's a sign. It's gotta be a sign. Uh? I have no idea. Cappuccinos from the outside. Oh, oh, yeah. right down. This week, this parish, thanks to my accounting genius, is flush. Fantastic. Well, sort of, for the next few days. So why don't I feel better? I mean, you know, I feel, I feel useless. I, I, I need a crisis. What, the antidepressant's not working? Hey, what's in those pills, anyway? Uh, cheerfulness. Look, you know, they get it from cheer donors at clinics. They put it in powder, you get cheerful. You can never have sex again, but you're so cheerful, oh, you don't you're get it. Is this God's plan? That's my only uh, question. Probably not. Hey, your schedule. Basketball confession, sick calls teaching, and the card game tonight. Oh. It's all the pre's, and it's here. Mm, I gotta call Jesse. Mm -hmm. What's this? You have a meeting with Councilman Kelly. Oh. Uh, they just called like two seconds ago to confirm, and you're gonna insult them, so you might want to lick your vest. Good point, yes. Good Give me point. the ball. Thank you. Uh, uh, Ray? Ray? Yeah. Um, I was just wondering if maybe I could possibly play in the card game tonight, maybe? I don't know, Eric. It'd be like having a priest at the game. Ray, it's all priests in the game. Eric, do you wear that collar in the shower? I'm just curious. Really, Ray, I mean, right this way. Hello? Yeah, hi, it's Father Ray. Can I speak to Father Jesse, please? Okay, hang on, Father. Sure, I'll hold. Hey, if that's Father Jesse, say hi for me, okay? Look, he's not here. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, he hasn't been here. Okay. I haven't seen him for three days. That's weird. Could you come over? Well, sure. Yeah, I'll be right there. I don't know what to do. I'm coming over right now. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Look, I'm out of here for an hour. Try not to burn the church down, okay? Well, you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Then. Yeah, look, take the cell phone. It's Satan's tool. Just remember, being reachable is not the same as being available. Well, just keep the power on. So it's been two days, huh? I got subs for him for three of the masses, and we had to do a communion service this morning. You didn't say anything? You know how he is, Father. Right. So I shouldn't feel bad about looking into his room like this. Yeah. I found this. It's a realtor's card. It's got an address on the back. I don't know what we're going to do for the mass this afternoon. Well, I'm back by five. Can I use that phone? Sure. You're not Father Ray. Uh, no. No, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could. When will Father Ray be back? I'll tell him you were here. I've got to talk to somebody now. You know, um, all the priests are out, and so no priests, no confessions. What about you? I really don't feel comfortable. Sit. You're making me nervous. It's okay. Sure. So, uh, well, let's cut to the chase. What's your problem? Sex or money? You're not Father Ray. No, no, I'm not. Certainly not Father Ray. You're going to be coaching us today? That's right. So, do we split off in teams? Have you ever played basketball before? Oh. You're not the priest. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Uh, Father Ray can't come today, so he sent me. I'm Sister Maureen. So. Well, you might as well come in, but just for a minute. Jesse? Jess! This is the Vatican. Surrender your crucifix and come out with your hands up. Okay. A Jesuit, a Dominican, and a Franciscan are in a boat at sea. The boat sinks. A shark comes, tears the Dominican and the Franciscan to pieces, but not the Jesuit. How come? How come, Jesse? How come? Come on, how come? Professional courtesy. Very good. Wait till I get the contact paper on the shelves. You won't know the place. Here, put this up. You're going to shop for the card game tonight. Now I got things to do, Ray. Yes, arranging your paperbacks with the publisher. That's very important. Yes. I got a meeting with you. Blow it off like you blew off bats for the past two days. Oh, 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 you want me to rise to the bait? Well, put your bait back in your bucket, Ray. You want to get that old spiritual adrenaline pumping? That's fine. Just do it someplace else because I am too busy. Oh, too busy to perish, too, huh? Don't get it, Ray. I don't get the now you see him, now you don't act. You're right. I don't get that. You don't get it. You never have and you never will. Ah, oh, I see. The gay thing. It's not the gay thing. Jess, I wish I could help you, but I don't have a problem with you being gay, all right? I'd like to. We'd be so much closer if I hated you, but I don't. All right, so I don't agree with you that Sondheim deserves sainthood, but what do I know? God is mysteriously silent on the subject of Broadway musicals, but you know, I'm sick and tired of you using the fact that you're gay and I'm not to keep us apart. Wow. Ray, that was one of the most powerful and pompous things I've ever heard. Let me know where to send the Nobel Peace Prize and then go, okay? Just leave. Scram. No. Not till I know what's going on. Got 
just HIV anymore. AIDS. My acronyms have changed. Full-blown AIDS. What is it about that word, full-blown? Windswept. I've got windswept AIDS. So there's this pastor in Ireland, right? And he's upset about superstition in his congregation. So he says, all, right. all you ever talk about is ghosts. Have any of you ever actually seen one? Half the hands. Everything means something different. So he says, now. okay, okay, okay. How many of I you mean, spoken to a ghost? Still a few hands. My eyes got tired. I then thought, he says, how many this? of you ever touched a ghost? I'm still dying, Ray. Ray. Yes, time alone. What can I do? Go. Jesse. Well, come on. Let's talk about this. Well, I can't, Ray. I have a job interview. You've got a job. <laughs> How long is that going to last until everybody finds out? These aren't the dark ages, Jess. Well, maybe not, but they've got a lot of mood lighting. Hey, slow like, down, will you? I can't slow down. I have to be someplace. Don't you have to be someplace? People will understand, you know. Yeah, and if uh, during Mass I announce that I have AIDS amongst all the tears and the hugs and the red ribbons, somebody says, gee, Father, hemophilia is a tragedy. What do I say then? You want to write that speech for me? Tell them the truth. Oh, you mean like this. Non sum dignus. I'm not worthy. Uh, I know that. I broke my vows. Yes. So if a husband or wife breaks a vow, does that have to mean the end of a marriage? Very enlightened. Almost works. But not in your case. He gives his husband to husband. Well, I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of this, Ray. I mean, people leave the priesthood all the time. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sick of it, Jesse. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of crossing faces off the ordination picture, all right? Too many guys have left. But not you. Not you. Stay. You gotta stay. Why? For me. All right? We've been in this together since day one. I don't know who I am without you. I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking unless I talk to you. Me. I'm your reason. Stay for me. And if you're sick, you're going to need somebody. Who do you have if not us? Huh? Read your Bible, Ray. The apostles didn't stick around for Jesus. And he was God. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who were called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Say but the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Well, thank you for coming, sister. And next week, tell that priest I want him. No offense. None taken.
Well, it was nice to meet you. You too. You forget where the door is? What is that? Nothing. It is too something. It's trash for the trash. This is today's racing form. The neighbor left it. Oh, yeah? You don't believe me, huh? You think it's mine. You're gonna bore me with the evils of gambling. Well, save your breath. It's time for my story, so you have got to go. Oh, I like the eight horse. I really do. You do? He's been in the money five out of the last six races. But those were claimers. He doesn't have a class for an allowance. Oh, well, none of these are exactly stakes horses either. Look at the four horse. He's out of one of my favorite stables. Oh, yeah? He didn't even finish the last two races. Well, look at the track. It was soft. We got a fast track today. What do you think of the nine? I don't like horses on Lasix. They either turn into missiles or open me a hand. I can't take money for this. I know that. I want you to put a bet down for me. Oh, you want to put down a bet? Well, why don't you come with me and place your own bet? <laughs> I can't do that. Of course you can. I don't go out. Why not? My bones brittle, like lace. Come on. Change out of your houseboat and come out. Place your bet. No, I won't. What you'll do is go now. Not until you come with me. This is my house. Yes, it is. And you've been in it too long. Just give us a chance. How many do you want? How many times do I have to hear Monsignor toast the last six heterosexual priests and none of you stand up for me? Ask. Ask me. Ray, priests don't get taken care of. They take care. Besides, I don't know what you'd say. Well, neither do I. Three ask. Look, I have to go. I have a job interview. What, at the mall? What are you going to do? Say mass at Banana Republic? Actually, I'm giving communion at the Foot Locker. So if you'll excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Now, what are you doing here? There's a position open at American Chino, and you're making me late. American Chino? All those years, all that training, and you're going to sell t-shirts at American Chino? Well, gee, Ray, that's not very supportive. If I get the job, you can use my discount. You could use a new look. Wait a minute. Don't you have a bake sale to go to or something? Hi. I'm here for an interview. Chow, I'm Shad. Shad? Come, walk. I don't have much time. So what makes you think you have the true American Chino spirit? Uh, well, I'm just sort of sure I do. Okay, free associate. I say a word, you say what comes to mind. Shoots. Uh, fun. Sweaters. Lots of fun. Shells. Windy fun. Separates. But equals. What's your retail background? Uh, I don't have one. I guess you could say my background is more, uh, spiritual. What's your theory of sales? That they are good. I mean, that's what this is all about, right? I'd be good at this job. I know it. Paper resume. I don't have one. References? No. Oh, did you just escape from someplace or something? Now, your look, I like, sort of austere but sexy, which happens to be what we're pushing this spring. So why don't you go ahead and fill out an application? We'll see what happens. No, you can't treat him. Uh, who are you? Ray. Ray. This is a valuable man. Ray. He's valuable. Ray. Thanks for the time. Well, sure. Listen, I'll be back to see Father Ray for confession, and uh, maybe we can talk some more, too. You want to be? No, really. That was some excellent tax advice. Anything more before I go? Stop punishing yourself. This is what marriage is for. <laughs> what, are you hearing confessions? No, nothing. No, no, that's Ray's job. It's not, you know. So... Uh, what's up with you? Got nail back, my Jesus. It's your day off. You're a newlywed. You should be home strewing rose petals on your marriage bed. Oh, rose petals are for later. Odds and ends first. We'll talk. Excuse me, Father Eric. Oh, uh, yeah? Could we maybe stop doing jumping jacks? And possibly just play? Well, uh... I don't, uh... I don't know. You think we're ready? Come on. You're on my side. Oh, I'm, I'm playing? Why don't you return?
Listen, you really want to help? Why don't you help me get a job? You have something better than a job. You have a vocation. I don't want a vocation, Ray. <laughs> Who does? I can't afford a vocation, Ray. I need a job. A mindless, boring, inane job so I can get on with my real job, which at the moment is staying alive. You're not dead yet. <laughs> staying alive isn't enough. Staying alive is a full-time job, Ray. Which pills to take when? Uh, you know, every time I, I lose my keys, I think, is this it? Is this dementia starting? Okay, I'm sorry. Every crackle, you know, it's got to be KS. I got to eat like a horse just to... Yeah, you know, keep my weight on and and uh, get so tired, Ray. You know, sometimes my my legs just go, <laughs> go out from under me like a, like I'm Groucho or something. <laughs> and uh, it just uh, happens sometimes. Hey, look, don't apologize for God's sake. <laughs> just sit still for a minute. I. It's all right. Just settle down. Just sit and talk until it passes. All right. Oh. Talk to me, Ray. Say something. Okay, so, so so they're in the church, right? Yeah. And the pastor says, how many of you ever touched a ghost? There's still like three or four hands remain up, okay? So he goes, all right. How many of you ever fornicated with a ghost? One hand remains up. A little old man sitting in the back. The priest says, you actually fornicated with a ghost? The old man looks up and says, ah, is it a ghost you said, Father? I thought you said gold. That's, uh... Never heard that one before. I thought you told me that one. No. That wasn't me. troubled unit, sir. What, you, you mean you haven't made any progress since this morning? Look, do I tell you how to lead your flock? Well, actually, I'm not the flock leader. I'm uh, flockless, but... Oh, uh, sorry. I I'm sorry. I'm going to give you that, but uh, don't mind me. You're doing really well, and I know it's hard. Continue. Okay? Good work. Well, I, the chicken's done, and it's time for my medication. Now, which one makes you larger and which one makes you small? Come to the game tonight. Oh, couldn't I just come to the cabaret? I'm feeling very Eliza right now. Come to the game and I'll help you with your resume. You will? Ciao. I'm Shad. Come. Walk. Hello there, Shad. So, Jesse, is there anything you can tell me about yourself that would make you right for this job? Well, I'm a gay Roman Catholic priest. With AIDS. Top that, baby. We gotta work on this. Let's try it again. Previous employment. Uh, look, you gotta say something. They're gonna think you're in the witness protection program. Yeah, well, you try it without lying. Go ahead, you be me. All right. So, Jesse, uh, what's your employment history? Uh, I manage a franchise for a major multinational corporation headquartered in Rome. <laughs> what do you do all day? I facilitate group workshops with an emphasis on search for personal meaning. Mass. You got it. You give a shot. Okay, uh, for the past ten years, I've been involved with professional guilt removal. <laughs> Confession. I'll see right through it. Here, put these jalapenos in Monsignor's nachos. Give them a little heartburn. But these are skills you actually have. You started the city's largest soup kitchen, feeding over 800 homeless a day. Exactly, picky eaters. You taught uh, religion and English for 10 years. A generation of brain-dead ingrates. Uh, needle exchange programs, AIDS ministry, yeah. scholarships. Head coach of an inner-city basketball league. Yeah. Inner Meals city on Wheels chance. program. Right. It's starting to sound like an obituary. Yeah, but a good one. I mean, you've got an impressive list of accomplishments here. So, Mr. O'Connell, why did you leave your last job? Oh, I needed to have something less demanding so I could concentrate on personal growth. And what did you make for all this work? It's pretty low pack. Well, so why did you stay? Jesse? The 
because it wasn't just a job. Uh, in fact, in some ways, it wasn't a job at all. It was my life. It was everything to me. Pills? Mass. You gonna say it? Yes. Good. I told Mrs. Leland you would. Oh, I hate you. Thank you. I don't have a homily prepared. I don't even know what the gospel is. Eh, wing it. Still smell it. You're still here? I told you how to nail him back to the cross. He's a little crooked. But well, what do I know? Maybe that's good. It's good. Okay. So what's up? Nothing's up. Everything's down. I mean, everything's good. Look, Sidney, how do you know, you know? I want your egg. When you stand there in front of God and you say it's for life, you know, which is like a really long time. Well, what if it changes, you know? What if you can't stay? So when you stand up there and you say it's for life, isn't that a lie? Because, I mean, how do we know what life is? Then how do we know how to say what for life is when we don't even know what life is? Okay, enough with the existential challenges. Now, we're in a church, not on a barren plain. You're worried about what life is. Yeah. Worry about death. I mean, that's my motto. Your plane could crash, you could eat a bad clam, you put on the inadequate sunblock. I like it. I want you to be happy. Figure out what full life means in the arms of the bride. And if he is, don't need an answer. I'll get you a second opinion. I lived in that house for 50 years. Had six children there. Watched one of them die. I was born right around the corner. My mother used to tell me, if you get lost, just tell them where you live, St. Thomas Parish. That's all you needed to know to get back home. You lived there and in the corner of the eye of God. that house there. My husband was a good man and I was good with him. He had all his teeth till the week before he died. And then they all just fell out one by one. <laughs> so our 50th, the children sent us to the White Mountains of Vermont, which weren't even white at all. man lived there who I should have married. Yeah. It's okay. I haven't been out in three years. Well, then it's good we're out now. Yeah. You warm enough? We gotta keep moving. I wanna get that bet down. If I win, you and Father Ray can have some of the money. Take a week on some island in the sun. Sit on the sand and you have it. I don't wear one. The church is gone to hell. <laughs> well, you can get into that with Father Ray next week. But I want you. But I'm not the priest. Thank God for that. What you do is better. One more thing. What? When you come next week, would it kill you to put on some makeup? <laughs> the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery. 
And making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. Now what do you say? Jesus bent down and he wrote with his finger in the ground and said to them, Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone. And when they heard that, they went away, one by one, and Jesus was left alone with the woman, and he said to her, Woman, has no one condemned you? She said, No, ma'am, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. I have something to tell you. hard, but um, of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, gee, Ray, thanks a lot for getting me back to do Mass. It was the spiritual high point of my life. You got through it. Did I? Yes, and that's what matters. Yeah, what you saw up there, that doesn't uh, mean anything to you? Jesse, stuff happens. Hey, Ray. Why don't we just tell the truth for once? This is not for me. Why? Because you let people see for a moment who you are? No. Because I let them see who I'm not. I'm not worthy, Ray. Maybe I was once. But everything has changed. Let's just let it go with that. No, let's not. Why do I matter so much to you? Why should I matter? You need me to remind you you're a priest? To make you feel less alone? These are my reminders. You know what they remind me of? That I am alone. We all are. Well, there's a room full of people out here that would disagree with you. <laughs> and after all I've done here, those people are going to remember me as the priest who died of AIDS. Oh, is that it? Is that all you're really worried about? That you've changed? That you're not worth? Wake up, Jesse! God! It's not about worthiness. You can't deserve this. You can't earn this. It's a calling. You know that. It's about love, which is what I thought we had. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, you know about that card game tonight? Don't come. I don't want you there. Don't come. Sacred will be right back on ABC. Fakes right, fakes left, three, Ray. I loved it. Oh, great. I, I, no, Ray, I really, really loved it. It was so much fun, you know? Is, is that okay? <sighs> well, it's not very priestly, all right? Games aren't supposed to be fun. How'd it go? I was right. How about what? The eight course. <laughs> hey, right in the back. Hey, everybody. Oh. J.A. has something he would like to share with all of us. Oh, do, J.K. Yeah. I'm taking a day off. Oh, it's about time. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get something straight here. I've been gone a whole day. The Catholic faith has survived my absence. Oh, Come I on. think so. Believe it or not, I'll read the
respect, I gotta view this whole thing as a metaphor. A metaphor for what? The state of faith in America today. You see, this pipe with its lonely moan is like the cry of man searching for something. Something to believe in. Echoing back from eternity, right down from the cosmos, so to speak. You following me? Have you ever considered teaching theology? What did you just do? I have no idea. Well, it worked. All right. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Very wonderful. Very much. Thank you. Oh, nice. nice. I knew you'd get work here. Done. Thank right. you, sir, very much. Here. Yeah. There's a place at the table tonight. So, Jesse's not here tonight. I guess not. Hi, everyone. Anybody mind if Eric joins us? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Sit down, Eric. Monsignor, Frank, Joe, Tony. Gentlemen, a toast to the last six. Maybe we better let the toast go tonight. Why? Because it's offensive? Because you're a bigot? Yeah. Sit down, Eric. Mostly. Because it's not true. I'm gay. As uh, many of you know, and I'm HIV positive. As some of you know. I have AIDS. Which now all of you know. Well. I'm a 62-year-old heterosexual virgin. I have prostate cancer. And they want to put a radioactive thingy in my penis, and I won't let them. I'm 46, and I used to have a drinking problem. One day at a time. Let them put the thingy in, senior. They know what they're doing. Well, I'm uh, 53. I've been seeing a psychiatrist. We're making progress. I'm 50. I have psoriasis. Now you know. You all know me. I have no flaws. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm, I'm 28. And, uh... Gentlemen. A toast. To us, however the hell you want to describe us. Here, here, here. You know, uh, I, I heard a, I heard a joke the other day. Uh, it's a great joke. I, I think you're really gonna love it. The Pope's in America. Uh, I, I forget which state he's in. It's somewhere back east. Uh, I think it's. New York or Massachusetts, right? I don't know, but he's, but he's got, got the Pope for a driver. <laughs> Can we play cards? Yeah, yeah. Well, looks like I'm the uh, big winner tonight. <laughs> Tell me about it. Can you loan me a couple of dollars? <laughs> yeah. Which means it's time for us each to return to our own wandering flock. Good game, everybody. Good game, yeah. everybody. I think we can all agree life is moving very fast these days. Too many people, too many good men are vanishing from this life. Your point, Father? The vow of chastity is one I still take very seriously. And I do not speak for myself alone. 
our vows keep us in this life. God knows, God throws plenty at us to make us all bolt for the door. I'm still not seeing your point, sir. I remember when all this first started, and then he disappeared. Just disappeared. I liked him. He was a good priest. I've kept my vows for 40 years. Ticks me off when others don't, but I want you to know I don't want you to leave on my account. You don't have to leave on my account. We need the nachos, which were very good. Good night, guys. Good night. Until next week. Next See week. Fun. See you next week. He thinks you're help tonight. Those nachos. Yeah. It was nothing. I'm scared, right? and said, 